define simple harmonic motion show that the motion of projection of a particle performing uniform circular motion on any diameter is simple harmonic so first of all we have to define what is simple harmonic motion so we have to show that suppose a particle is performing circular motion suppose a particle is performing circular motion on any diameter is simple harmonic suppose a particle p is undergoing circular motion along a circumference of a circle this is called circular motion but the projection of this p on any diameter any diameter means this is x x dash diameter this is y y dash diameter is simple harmonic that we have to show okay so answer is uh, the simple harmonic motion what is simple harmonic motion the to and fro motion of a particle about a fixed point such that the acceleration is directly proportional to its uh, displacement and is uh, always directed towards a fixed point so simple harmonic motion is not uh, a continuous motion it is to and fro motion so suppose we about an axis a fixed point okay the acceleration is uh, directly proportional to the displacement so this is and uh, negative sign indicates uh, in opposite direction okay for this we have to consider a particle p moving on the circumference of a circle moving or undergoing on a circumference of circle of radius a suppose this is circle the radius of circle is a this is particle p moving along the angular velocity is omega let o be the center of the circle this is o be the center of the circle n be the projection of p on the diameter y axis the projection of uh, p will be this is n from o to n is called y if theta is the angular displacement of p theta is the angular displacement of p at a time t and uh, r is the and uh, omega is the uniform angular velocity then uh, theta is equal to omega into t so this is theta this is theta the projection distance from the origin is y projection means like a shadow so we have to find the displacement of the particle according to this diagram so according to triangle triangle o p n o p n o p n this will be we have to find this y value so for that we have to consider sin theta sin theta means opposite by hypotenuse opposite is representing y this is opposite hypotenuse means op this is a that means y by a this is y by capital a then y is equal to a sin theta this y represents the displacement of the particle but uh, we know theta is equal to omega t now put y is equal to a sin omega t this equation represents the displacement of the particle in a circular motion now similarly we have to find the velocity of the particle the velocity of particle so v is equal to d by dt of y that means dy by dt that means y means displacement t means time so displacement by time so v is equal to 
d by dt of y that is equal to d by dt of a sin omega t then v is equal to a into d by dt of sin omega t we can write it as a into d by dt of sin omega t means cos omega t then we have to differentiate this omega t also that is d by dt of omega t this can be written as cos omega t omega into d, b, d by dt of t this becomes 1 so the velocity v is equal to v is equal to a into omega cos omega t this is v is equal to a omega cos omega t this is equation number 2 this is second the velocity of the particle is this next the acceleration of the particle acceleration of the particle acceleration of the particle means a is equal to d by dt of v that means velocity by time that means change in velocity by time gives acceleration so a is equal to d by dt of v means a omega cos omega t now take this as constant a omega d by dt of cos omega t so a omega d by dt of cos omega t means minus sin omega t into again we have to differentiate this omega t that is d by dt of omega t that is equal to a omega minus sin omega t into omega into d by dt of t because omega is constant here so dt by dt gives 1 so that is equal to a into omega square write this negative sign here minus sin omega t that is a now a is equal to minus of omega square into a sin omega t now we can eliminate this equation this trigonometric equation because a sin omega t means this is a sin omega t is nothing but y so we can substitute y here so a is equal to minus omega square into y this is from equation 1 so here a is proportional to minus y here omega omega means the angular velocity of the particle omega is equal to constant hence the motion of the projection on n the motion of the projection on n on any diameter is simple harmonic motion because the particle p starts from here the projection starts from here when particle is moving in this direction the projection also moves in upward direction when the particle is tends to move in downward direction the projection also moves in downward direction so this particle is executing circular motion but uh, the shadow of this particle or the projection of the particle is executing simple harmonic motion okay this is an essay question for junior intermediate so it is very very important okay thank you